Hi everybody, I'm Shah and welcome back and for the new people, welcome to the channel and it's great to have you here as well. I hope you will subscribe and hit the bell on all. There is a video also up and running to show you how to set the settings in YouTube and in your mobile device because people are saying I'm not getting notified. So have a look at that video and that will help you ginormously. Okay, I'm using the transparent tarot again and I'm using the uh, everyday witch uh, tarot and I'll be combining these and I'll show you a third way of working with the transparent tarot. Whoopee! I love it, I love it. I really am so excited and grateful that I've got this deck because it is amazing and apparently you all like it as well because um, I'm getting loads of likes and views. Thank you very much for subscribing and coming in and enjoying yourselves with the general readings. Remember, if it doesn't resonate with you, then look at your moon sign and your rising sign. And also our first episode of the English series of the English Witch um, is out and up and running and there's going to be loads of fun not only workshops and getting fit because we are even motivated into getting our goals and bringing ourselves back into the strength where we want to be and I'm enjoying it really and also there will be free giveaways in the autumn um, thanks to Shifer Red Feather, um, I've got some giveaways, and so ke I'll keep you posted. So please come back if you would like decks, uh, um, some decks. They will be all very, very mysterious because it is Halloween. So that's why I'm getting into the mood of Halloween, the mystery, and the witchiness, and also new surprises. So please join us and I've also got a special page you can see it all in the description box because uh, I've just done a new page on Facebook Charlie's Angel Tarot uh, sorry Charlie's Angel Crowd and I will be interacting with anybody in the autumn discussing the books and doing my workshops from there and also most probably the f some free give giveaways there as well okay um, we're going to start off first with the uh, uh, Everyday Witch Tarot and then I'm going to put these on top of those cards. Okay, so let's get started. And the first card you have is the Three of Swords. I'm sorry, I can't do anything about it. Um, that came out, so I have to take it. That's what my guides and my angels have told me. You might be feeling sorry. For yourself or you might be upset about something you might be depressed about something and because you might have lost something it doesn't have to be a person a person doesn't have to have passed away or you uh, or, or separated from a friend or uh, lost a friendship um, no you can have lost a book you could have lost a, a house or a job or uh, something to do with uh, attributes or as accessories like keys from your car. You might have lost your keys from your front door and that is what is upsetting you and making you feeling sad. Talk to somebody about it if you have lost something. Um, in some cases you might be able to find it back. Take time and think about it who you can talk to. A problem aired is a, or a problem shared is a problem aired and then it won't be so heavy to carry the burden or the worry of that loss. And remember, time will heal. Now in this deck we have a book and um, let's say it says journal. Yes journal if you haven't got anybody to speak to use a journal, a diary or the Book of Shadows, as they call it. Woo! <laughs> so, you know, write down, write it off. Um, they say, write it down and then you are writing it away. You can put it in the book and you can always come back to it later, but it will lighten the load. You have the um, 
the hermit card um, uh, for this one but I'm coming back to this in a minute okay then you have the five of pentacles yes you might feel out of balance or out of sorts or feeling left out especially if you are sa sad and you are quite upset and you're not opening up and you might be withdrawing isolating yourself so because you are feeling so upset it's logical that you feel out of sorts and being feel left out this could be in a from a group of friends or a family you might have lost um, interest in um, this group of friends or colleagues and you are isolating yourself this is more the feeling that I'm getting you are isolating yourself because you feel left out and you you've lost something like I said you might have lost the interest in this group you might have outgrown this group um, or they've they've changed or uh, a, a couple of people might have left the group and so you are isolating you are trying to find your way you're trying to find clarity okay now we've got usually it's the uh, a, a church in this case it is a house with lead windows lead in glass okay this re um, reminds me of a, a, a church window so a church window to me means institution or a municipality you might need to go back uh, to church because perhaps you might f you might have left the church and that is your loss you've lost your faith or you're doubting it go and speak to the priest or your spiritual guider guidance guide sorry yes I do speak two languages sometimes I get knotted up in my languages so this re uh, represents institutions or municipalities if something is bugging you and you've lost something go to the police that's also an institution okay re reported that you've lost something boom or if you've lost your home uh, because of the COVID go and get some advice could be a social worker could be a lawyer could be a bookkeeper see what you can do then we have the Queen of Swords this is a Libra so you again Libra represents balance okay so you are out of balance try to get back in balance be the Libra think about it get clarity do the research get help ask for help don't shy away to ask for help whether it's a lawyer whether it's a friend this could be a Libra um, or um, somebody that guides she's the queen she has her emotions under control but she does have a heart remember that um, uh, she's the mother the mother of air the element of air this is Gemini Libra or Aquarius and mothers are nurturing okay look at the beautiful white cat you've got luck luck is coming in okay times are going to change the energy is changing we are in Libra now so you might be finding your balance right now in Libra after all it is um, the equinox the Maybon equinox if you are following the witches series we are also discussing the calendar of the pagans or Wiccans and we that is on the same day as we are going into um, Libra around the 21st 23rd uh, because the the astrologers or somebody has changed the dates it's because the planets are shifting and are aligning in different uh, times uh, also most probably because of the environment and this is all interconnected we are connected with everything okay so we're going into the Maybon equinox the fall equinox autumn Libra so those are three things so three is quite important okay well you've got the three of swords here so here you go three three you've got the angels are holding you covering you and protecting you and that is what this 
on these windows also represent don't forget you are part of the bigger plan the bigger energy we are connected luck is on your side now in Holland uh, the white cat is lug lucky and the black cat is lucky in England so you've got both <laughs> you know you've like the yin and the yang again balance balance is coming out in your reading Aries you have to maintain the balance but think about it contemplate or meditate and evaluate get the clarity where are you at where do you want to go what have you lost what do you want back it doesn't feel to me as if it is a person that you've lost I think it's you might be lost yourself that is why you're feeling out of sorts you haven't got the balance come on get out of your mind go in and, and find and seek information and if not ask for help there's enough help around you then you have the knight of swords and you might be receiving news okay wow you could be meeting a Libra a Gemini an Aquarian again air is in your reading quite predominantly you've got two out of the four okay so get into action you might be getting news through cyber and that's email text message telephone calls even airmail you could be getting airmail an old-fashioned letter a special paper it's such light paper and thin paper that's why they call it airmail it was cheaper to send through the air now we're going on to the transparent tarot we've got the hermit here that means take time out contemplate and evaluate okay and pass on uh, he's also it's quite severe here because that is because you can layer the transparent tarot okay and you can build up a picture and that is why it's so severe but the hermit is also your spiritual guide and I was I didn't even I hadn't even thought of it that because this is how I translate it and see it and feel it it the story builds up we I told you go and see your spiritual guide if you feel out of sorts if you if you feel that you've lost that connection with the uh, bigger power whether it's God Zen Buddha um, Allah whatever you know go and talk to somebody if you feel out of whack with your environment and your spirituality your higher self perhaps you might want to get clarity it's like um, I won't go too much into that but go and meditate turn in within to find out what you want in life to find what you've lost or even something better when you are a spiritual person a, a psychic or a medium we you also have periods that you feel out of whack out of balance because that is when you are going through a transformation perhaps you've lost something and you are going through a transformation and that is what the hermit does as well then he goes into meditation does a retreat and goes into meditation I'm going to put it right on top of the other card and boom if you can see you've got the you can't see it I think no you can't but if you, you can see like clouds here or treetops right and you're going up to the mountain so there you go do a retreat in your bed retreat take a rest that is awesome it's a pity that it's a bit too dark but here is the 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 holy light or the everlasting light that's usually when the hermit carries this uh, candle um, this torch um, so I would say in this picture um, go and retreat go to the summit 
go into your self, go into your head, you might be more spiritual now, and that is why you feel left out of groups, because you're ch you're transforming. You're transforming. Then we have the tower, lightning, unexpected change, unexpected change. You couldn't make a decision, so the angels and the divine jumped in and gave you this unexpected change a new start take it as an adventure take it as an exciting new adventure you can't do anything about it because this new beginning is here and you can't change anything about it the past is the past you can only change the present and the future so take it come out of your head and make that boom that uh, thunder bolt make that change take that thunderbolt take this change it could be a change of a house because it's lying right on top of the house it's going like through the house so there might be a big change within the family like I said boom all of a sudden there is a change perhaps one of the children has grown up and is leaving the family home and that will bring that will rock your boat and you think what is the matter Woo! how am I going to cope because I'm a mum and when my children left the house I felt uh, upset as well but you know that you will see them again they will come and visit you just keep the communication going that is what the Queen of Swords would do she stands for communication and wisdom learn learn something new make find something that you're interested in and that you can do every single day and make life interesting and develop it that is what the Queen of Wands will would do and here she is the Queen of Wands perhaps one of your children is the Queen of Wands she stands for uh, definitely know what she wants and she goes into action she's creative about it if she doesn't get it then she will find a way to get what she wants she will use her intelligence like the Queen of Swords now I'm going to put her on top of the swords and here you are they become one so you might be the Queen of Swords up in your head because this is also a head uh, head cards, the, um, the five of uh, pentacles. You're, you're, you're thinking, oh, I am. I feel left out. And here you've got the three of swords. You're isolating. You're, you're sad. You're upset uh, of your loss. And you've got the hermit. You go out there and it's the advice to take time out and to change and to evaluate, meditate, contemplate and that is what the Queen of Swords is doing she thinks about it and the Queen here you are, the Queen of uh, Wands is actually taking action so take a page out of their book if you're not meeting up with um, a Libra or any other sign or the Queen of Wands which is the Leo um, uh, or uh, Aries or Sagittarius okay take a page out of their own book they go for what they want doesn't matter what it costs they'll go get there they'll want it okay they go in action and they're creative enough to get what they want they've they've got the gift of you've got the gift of the gab now because you've got the air sign and the fire sign so sell yourself boom now the last card is the Wheel of Fortune Wow! That's the right way up because the ten is here and this is the feathers, okay Sorry So now you can see with the Wheel of Fortune it just looks like a dartboard Boom! Bullseye! you are the one that is important now you are getting news what goes round comes round so if you've done good you'll get it back threefold so it will be like there's a lot of messages coming here 
look at all the birds Woo. Um, so that's what I'm also busy you're going to get busier and busier you're going to have recognition so long you take that action and try to find something that you are motivated um, to carry on with to feel your self-worth because you are worth it Aries okay so take action okay um, so like I said if you've done good uh, you'll get it back threefold same with bad if somebody else has done you wrong and they left then they will get their karma back threefold as well the wheel of fortune also means that you might be going up a level so you've got the recognition people are noticing you that you've come out and come into action okay like the Queen of Wands you're going up to the next level so there might be a promotion there might be a next level up in a relationship like I said it could be a next level of a home going from an apartment to a house or perhaps you might be downsizing because a child has left the home and you don't need all that room okay because the wheel of fortune also means traveling and so you might be flying like the knight of swords he's on the broomstick here so you might be flying off to an other destination you might be moving home like I said up or downsizing and what goes round comes round so make sure you watch your intonation and your actions when you're coming into action don't be too forceful because these two queens are forceful queens they're powerful okay they're different than the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups these women are action women and the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles are the nurturing uh, more nurturing and not so active okay these two Queens are the, the the Queen of Justice and the Queen of Action they defend till death okay and they come into action so come into action that is your message okay Aries and if you've done good it will be returned to you in threefold now I am uh, uh, shaking the cards um, wait so you are waiting but what are you waiting for have you made a decision I think the watch the, the the hermit is also gentle and see where the time is right um, and meditate and evaluate whether the time is right well that is up to you but there's an unexpected change coming so wait because you're going to see the change okay think about it and take action on that like the Queen of swords get clarity and then take action like the Queen of Wands something good is coming towards you definitely I've got a feeling I'm getting a, a, a I'm hearing what you've lost you shall find but it is much um, but it is intertwined that is what I'm hearing what you've lost you shall find it is intertwined so something um, is um, intertwined in something else I don't know whether that makes sense now I've also put a romance reading the romance readings will be out next week but I've put an, a romance card in this week because I've, uh, I've had a lot of requests I hope, can't wait until your romance readings I want to see them uh, engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment there you go now perhaps that is what you've been thinking about and now you're taking action you've been waiting for the right moment to take this um, um, friendship up to a next level into a relationship perhaps you've lost your freedom and you had to think about it take time out to think about it and uh, it, it, it threw you off 
okay that could have thrown you off but the divine has brought this change into your life you might have met a, a, um, a Leo or a Libra so and we are in Libra time and Libra does stand for peace and harmony it's like you like I said you isolating yourself don't go out there but think about it do take time out to think things through like the Queen of Swords okay that will bring you and take you up to the next level and that is how you can come into action so wait for the right moment beautiful yes you will find your way you might be traveling like I said you might be going on holiday or moving home I think you you will be downsizing okay Aries I hope you have enjoyed this reading have a wonderful week and I hope to see you back please like and share and come into life and stay um, updated by coming back because there will be free gifts in the autumn exciting if so if you want decks I'm, I will be offering decks um, I don't know what I'm going to do but it will be free giveaways okay Take care and see you later. Ciao, ciao.